Hello, my name is Tony and welcome back to Predicted. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about another fragrance from the Memoirs Dark Range. So I'm picking up from where I left off before Christmas with the rest of my two minute reviews. And the fragrance I'm going to be talking about today is Era. Stay right where you are. This is my rather battered dark range discovery box. The reason why it's so battered is because I carry it around everywhere in my work coat pocket in the hope that I'll be able to escape at lunch and do a review. Well, at the moment, there's only a couple of us working and I'm very busy, so I'm unable to do that. So let's get another review done. A quick two minutes ish. Don't shoot me if it goes over. And the fragrance we're going to be talking about is Era. So in the top we have saffron, in the mid we have iris, yangalang and jasmine. And in the base we have leather, agarwood, amber and myrrh. This opens with such a smoothness to it, with some sweet floral notes. There is just a little touch of spice that tickles the nose. But the leather is the star of the show in this one though. It's so smooth and so soft. It's not too loud or showy. It doesn't shout, look at me, I'm a leather fragrance. It's much more refined than that. It's more of a suede note than it is a leather note, truth be told. Well, to me, it is anyway. The food in this must be a supporting note because I don't really pick that up. And I usually pick that up immediately and it can put me off if it's too barnyardy. So don't let the note of oud put you off in this fragrance. So that's a good thing for me. So there is just enough sweetness in this, so it never ever becomes too challenging, but it's still dark and alluring. It would make a wonderful nighttime fragrance. Dress it up, I think if you were going out somewhere really, really elaborate, this would really, really work. It's so different to anything else I've smelled. I really, really enjoy the couple of wearings that I've had from it. I really love it actually. It is by far my favorite so far. And I would say by quite some way, I am in love. So just to recap, opens with some spicy white florals and the white florals are gorgeous. Then it's got that very, very smooth leather, giving it that supporting note and it is very smooth, backed up by the sweetness of the amber. Not many notes listed, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The saffron mixed with those white florals and that leather and the amber are to die for and I just I'm just in love. I'm going to be saving the rest of this sample for a special occasion when we can get those back or a night out when we can go out again. Performance on this was fantastic it lasted on my skin all day that's not a problem at all. Hope you enjoyed the review don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one and don't forget to keep smelling wonderful.